This BTK killer's daughter, uh, Carrie Rawson, made a Twitter post on the possible connection between her father and suspect Brian, which went viral. She says she can also relate to what the suspect's family must be going through. Now, joining us virtually is Carrie Rawson. Carrie, thank you so much for talking with us. Thanks for having me. This is um, something that really caught your attention. Tell us why. Um, Koberger studied under Dr. Katherine Ramslin at DeSales University for his undergrad and master's in criminology. Um, that came out right after his arrest. And uh, Dr. Ramsland has had a many years relationship academically and personally through correspondence and phone calls with my father, um, Dennis Rader, otherwise known as BTK. Right. Tell people what BTK stands for. Uh, bind, torture, and kill. Mm -hmm. And what similarities do you see between your father and Brian? Um, Brian turned 28 um, right after his first murders. My dad was 28 um, for his first the part of the Otero family. They both um, murdered four. My dad preferred to enter at night. Um, there was one case down the street from me where he waited in a neighbor's closet. I do believe Koberger studied my dad. I mean, we would, we know that Koberger studied my dad in academic um, classes. Um, I guess my question is, did he have a further interest in my dad outside of classes or higher influence um, through Dr. Ramsland's teachings? Because she emphasizes a class, at least one class on my father. Right. And so they were both 28 and both of them killed four people. If Brian, in fact, is the uh, killer here, uh, he's pled innocent, but allegedly and as you say, he may have nested in a closet there, and you know that's something that your father did. And I know that this was an incredible shock to your family to find out what you found out about what your father was doing. What do you think his family is going through at this point? Uh, just utter hell and shock. But the family, as far as we know, is innocent here. So your initial reactions is, is shock and denial. How many victims does your father admit to or is known to have? Um, my father kid, killed 10 people, um, seven crimes over 17 years, the last three when I was alive. Right. I want to read a statement from Brian's family. Uh, it says, first and foremost, we care deeply for the four families who have lost their precious children. There are no words that can adequately express the sadness we feel, and we pray each day for them. We will continue to let the legal process unfold. And as a family, we love and support our son and brother. We have fully cooperated with law enforcement agencies in an attempt to seek the truth and promote his presumption of innocence rather than judge unknown facts and make erroneous assumptions. We respect privacy in this matter as our family and the family suffering loss can move forward through the legal process. Any reaction to that? Um, my family was told early on by the FBI not to speak to the media. They said it can make it worse, but I think it was a, it was a smart thing for his family to issue a statement and um, ask for privacy. Um, my family didn't actually speak publicly for almost 10 years. Um, I think, I think it was a smart statement to acknowledge um, the victims' families, and they need to be respected also as a family involved um, in this horrendous um, event. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.